Wow, in the last attempt of making this video, I just pulled the dumbest thing. I turned off the mic on accident, and I was wondering why it wasn't recording my voice. It just, like, cut halfway through. So that was my dumb moment for today. Um, so, I think I'll probably have, like, 99 more. Anyways, uh, I got OpenGL, OpenGL to finally work on my computer. Uh, I had driver issues for the longest time. Uh, and I couldn't figure it out, and I'm still not sure what the problem was. It just like miraculously started working, but it still doesn't work with uh, OpenGL apps compiled in Microsoft Visual C++. Um, I guess they must have like updated the compiler from the change of uh, Visual C++ 6.0 in 2008. Because 6.0 uh, OpenGL apps work, but once I get past 2008, they don't work. And it's not just compiled on my computer. If I compiled an OpenGL app on my computer with uh, Visual C++ 2008, I could send it to pretty much anyone and they could run it fine, considering their graphics card supports OpenGL. Um, they could send me an app they compiled in Microsoft Visual C++ that uses OpenGL and it would not work. I still have no idea why but it works in code blocks so I'm just not gonna try to find solutions for it. I've been looking but haven't really come across anything useful yet. Um, so after I finish UPS and charge I'm gonna start porting everything over to uh, code blocks and then I'm gonna s I'm probably gonna wipe my computer before I do that don't worry I'll back everything up <laughs> but uh, just because all the search directories for all the different libraries I have are just all mingled up and everything and it's really ugly really really ugly um, but also uh, I wanna put replace the SDL code for the video stuff in my framework with OpenGL code um, I've been going through the OpenGL Super Bible, and uh, it's a great book. I'm not really focusing on a lot of the 3D stuff, even though that's probably what the majority of the book covers. But uh, I'm more about the 2D stuff right now. Um, I'll definitely go back and go over the 3D stuff and start using it later in the future, but right now I'm adamant about the 2D stuff. So I'll probably just hop around in the book, trying to grasp all the content, Concepts and everything, and once I have the concepts down, I'll try to make video tutorials on it. Um, speaking of video tutorials, I want to redo all my SDL tutorials this summer. But uh, so I've rambled on enough, so let's get back to the game. Uh, sorry if I repeat things. I've done this. I've tried to make this video so many times that everything is just kind of blurring into each other. Can't remember what I've said, what I haven't in this particular attempt. So um. The three things that I said I was going to have, two players, s bouncing slimes, and an ice tile. So just a note on the ice tile, when a slime hits it, it'll bounce off in a random direction. When the player hits it, it's supposed to like accelerate it using the unit circle, so it'll start at like a certain degree, and then it'll keep uh, increasing that, de that angle all the way around and using sine, cosine to approximate the right uh, X and Y accelerations and I would think that would make it so it would kind of move in a circle if you didn't uh, press any keys to move it but it does this kind of like half circle thing uh, you'll, you'll see it but uh, that's the one kind of glitch with it and there's also a glitch from when you are have that effect happening and then you get a slime that gives you the gravity effect sometimes there's a glitch with that so those are the two things I need to fix still and then after that it's really just doing some touch-up work uh, to actually put it in good thing too because uh, it's all due this Sunday I think yeah Sunday that sounds right um, so here we go let me drag the window in Okay, so here's one guy, here's the other guy. As you can see, there's two scores, one and two. 
So when I hit the ice tile, as you can see, it'll start like accelerating me. So look at this. I would think it'd make you move in a circle, but it kind of does this little like half circle thing and then <laughs> keeps traveling with that. I really don't know why it does that or how to fix it. So if you have any ideas, let me know. I'm going to go brush up on some physics stuff because I forgot about, uh, I'm not sure what the correct term is even. Uh, I just know it's where you're using like centripetal forces and centrifugal forces. Uh, to calculate like angular displacements, angular velocities, and angular acceleration. And what's going on right now isn't a glitch, even if it might look like it. It's just rubbing up against the wall. No homo. Okay. So as you can see, there's a th an effect that removes the ice too, and there's also one that adds more ice. Um, I'm trying to get an effect right now that makes the slimes bounce off you. So we'll see. Sorry, it's taking so long. And what you're seeing right now is a glitch in that corner right there with, uh, with, uh, sorry, ADD moment. Uh, what you were seeing with uh, the first player pizza in the top right corner like probably 10 minutes ago <laughs> uh, that was a glitch and that's something I need to fix and right now you should be able to see them bouncing off maybe not now but a second ago you should have seen it so I hope you saw all the effects um, really I'm just like my brain is like blasted right now. I'm not sure why. My brain is just not working. But uh, that pretty much shows everything that's going to be in the final game. Except I'm going to fix those glitches. Um, so without further ado, I guess uh, the next video I make will show the completed product. And I hope to have two pieces of music two pieces of sound. So I'll have music for the menu, music for the uh, title screen. I'll then have a... Uh, what else? Oh yeah. A sound for when you get a slime. A sound for when you hit the ice. Uh, I'll also have a menu, which I kind of hinted at. Oh, and I uh, hope to have an animation or two. So that's pretty much it. <laughs> Sorry for the pauses that I have during the video, but uh... That's it. Peace.